Hello everyone. So I got an article from Not A Tesla App about uh, Tesla's latest uh, FSD beta version 11.3. So headline here, def Tesla FSD beta version 11.3 goes out to employees with new visuals. And this is a visual from inside the car showing a Tesla on the highway. So this is what you would see on the screen with this new version, apparently. Over the weekend, Tesla released FSD beta version 11.3 to more employees. It's not clear whether all employees now have access to the latest beta or if the number of employees was expanded. Tesla typically releases the latest FSD beta to all employees as a final test before starting its public release. We can see the first public release of the beta later today. Elon Musk said earlier this month that FSD beta version 11.3 would start rolling out last week. However, it could be a while before it rolls out to everyone with FSD beta installed. According to the latest Tesla recall, Tesla now has 362,000 vehicles in the US and Canada running FSD beta. We previously heard that FSD beta 11 would include improved visuals. We now have our first look at these improvements. From the leaked photo, we can tell the vehicle's path is much wider. The reason for this could be that Tesla wants not only to represent the path the vehicle will take, but also the space the vehicle will take up when it's at a specific location. Another obvious change is the removal of red road edges. They appear to have been replaced with light gray lines instead, which fits in with Tesla's simplistic style of the surrounding environment. The dotted lines between the lanes also have a different style. They used to be very defined and now have a slight blur to them, similar to the other road markings. It'd be interesting to see if Tesla is now using vision to determine the dotted line width and length. It's hard to tell much else from the image, but the vehicle appears to be on a highway, which means that FSD beta visuals will be applied to highway use as expected. It's not clear whether there are other improvements in the, visualiz in the visualizations or if can detect new objects. With the expansion of the beta to more employees, the release notes for version 11.3 have now been leaked, at least partially. The biggest feature on the list is the si expected single stack transition, where Tesla will now use everything it has learned from FSD beta on city streets and use the same technology for autopilot on the highway. However, the list of improvements is long and notable. One of the improvements in, in this beta, according to the release notes, is the addition of voice drive notes which allow you to comment on addition, on a disengagement with an audio description. This will presumably be done through a voice command and Tesla is likely transcribing these to text on their end to make them readable and searchable instead of having to listen to a message. Although it appears that you will be able to leave a comment after disengagement, this may work similarly to the report a bug feature. Expanded automatic emergency braking with this beta, Tesla is expanding automatic emergency braking to handle vehicles crossing in your path. AEB was limited to when approaching another vehicle from behind. However, Tesla is expanding this to also apply to vehicles crossing your path. Although this is lumped in with the FSD beta's release notes, and it depends on vision and improvements made with FSD beta, it will not only apply to FSD slash autopilot, but also when you're driving manually. In the release notes, Tesla mentions that according to data, they've collected this improvement with automatic, automatic emergency braking would have prevented 49% of collisions. One of the features I'm excited to see in this release is the improvement to the vehicle's path when traveling on the highway. If you encounter a sharp turn, the vehicle tends to get too close to the outside of the curve instead of keeping itself in the center of the lane. This will apparently be improved with this update, as Tesla says there is improved handling at high speeds and curve in high curvature scenarios. The release notes cover other improvements as well, such as improved lane changes and merges, as well as object detection and decision-making refinements. This software version that was released to employee is version 2022.45.5, which is untraditional for Tesla since it has an odd week in the version number. Although, since we're getting closer to the expected release of FSD beta version 11.3, it is possible this could be the version everyone receives in the coming weeks. Now that the release notes and the first image has been shared, we may soon see what else is included in this update. 
to find out more about this beta, check out the release notes for FSD beta version 11.3. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess more employees now have uh, FSD beta version 11.3. And we got the first image here of what it displays using this new software, which yeah, uh, that's, I've never seen the, the path highlighted like that with such a wide path. The dashes are changed. The edges of the highway are displayed differently. So this is, this is what Tesla does. They're constantly updating and improving the software, especially for full self-driving. And as they're pushing harder and harder to try and solve a full self-driving problem. Uh, the article goes on, or I guess it's another article about Tesla's hardware 4.0. They're saying hardware 4.0 may have 12 cameras. The new hardware's main board will accept up to 12 cameras with one of them labeled as a spare. Tesla currently uses nine cameras in its current hardware and is expected to reduce the front facing cameras by one. Based on this information and the labels on the camera connectors, it appears that Tesla will include three additional cameras with FSD hardware 4.0. When Green the Only revealed these hardware 4 details, Twitter user Stay Lame Bro number one inquired about where the new cameras will be placed around the vehicle. There are seemingly three bumper cameras, Green responds. One up front, the other two are left and right, so in the corners somewhere. Green adds the, the addition of bumper cameras and HD radar will remove blind spots. This is a big deal alone. Lastly, Green added that these additional cameras could allow Tesla to incorporate a real bird's eye view into its vehicles, a feature many Tesla owners have been requesting. Bird's eye view is a feature that many other automakers have had for a while now, including Toyota, Honda, BMW, and Lucid. It allows for drivers to see a top-down view of their vehicle and surroundings, increasing safety and spatial awareness. Last fall, Tesla announced they're transitioning their fleet to their own Tesla Vision. The company added that vehicles built in October 2022 and beyond would no longer include ultrasonic sensors. This sent confusion around the Tesla community given the blind spots, but Hardware 4 will seemingly address these concerns. The removal of the ultrasonic sensors saves Tesla approximately $114 per vehicle. This is in line with Project Highland, a cost-cutting project for the upcoming revamp Model 3. No retrofits for Hardware 4. One big improvement that's coming to Hardware 4 are upgraded cameras. Currently, Tesla uses cameras with 1.2 megapixels. Hardware 4 is expected to ship with 5 megapixel cameras. However, Tesla owners on Hardware 3 will not be able to retrofit their vehicles. Tesla CEO Elon Musk told investors that upgrading, to, upgrading Hardware 3 to Hardware 4 is difficult and expensive. The cost and difficulty of retrofitting Hardware 3 with Hardware 4 is quite significant, Musk said. So it will not be, I think, economically feasible to do so. After the leak of Hardware 4, we now begin to understand Musk's statement. We're not only talking about a new computer with Hardware 4, but higher resolution cameras, additional cameras, possibly a new bumper design, and an HD radar unit. Musk has also reiterated that Hardware 3 will be capable of driving safer than a human. However, it's not clear under which constraints that would be, such as specific road and weather conditions, or whether a human driver would always be required to be attentive. Continue with Tesla FSD beta update will fix speed limit issue and other NHTSA concerns. The recall notice post posted to the NHTSA's website says that Tesla FSD beta software allows a vehicle to exceed exceed speed limits <clears throat> or travel through intersections in an unlawful or unpredictable manner, which increases the risk of a crash. Tesla was notified of the issues identified by NHTSA. The agency is primarily concerned about the operational characteristics of FSD beta during these scenarios. The NHTSA is concerned that FSD beta could potentially infringe upon local traffic laws or customs, which could increase the risk of a collision if the driver does not intervene. Tesla's going to address these concerns in, in, the, in this update. So yeah, always interesting to see the updates for full self-driving. It'd be interesting if I did have a vehicle with full self-driving beta to get these updates and, and see what has changed. However, that's not the case for me. 
I've only been in other people's vehicles or maybe a loaner car that has full self-driving. And even that, I've seen the improvements over time. So an interesting article about uh, FSD beta version 11.3. I think it's going to go out to all current owners who have paid for full self-driving and qualified for full self-driving beta. So again, I'm sure we'll get more information soon on that. It'll be interesting to see the, the visualizations and some, watch some videos uh, on how it performs. So that's it for today. My name's Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen Channel. Thanks for watching.